Hello, I'm Nigel Clark, agronomist with the River Inner Co-op. This week I'd like to provide an overview of seasonal conditions to date and also touch on some of the issues going forward. Rainfall to date is tracking at decile, one to, uh, sorry, decile 3 to 5 across most of the district. Uh, on the back of a wet summer, plant available moisture uh, to the end of July is as good or better than 2011, which should give us some confidence in uh, our management strategies going forward, particularly nitrogen. Nitrogen looks to be the limiting factor in realising uh, yield potential across a range of crop types this season. So what is uh, reasonable yield expectation for this year? Um, with cereals, three to four tonne per hectare is not out of the, not out of the question, uh, despite the uncertainty around the uh, spring outlook. Canola is a bit of a different beast, uh, where water use efficiency drops off in below average years, but certainly there's potential there for two, two tonne or better. Um, with the re-rating of wheat prices over the last month, it's important that we uh, revisit nitrogen budgets. Um, the spread for quality has narrowed, uh, so any, any nitrogen budget should be based around a maximising yield, which occurs at a protein of 10.5% to 11%. The other issue um, we can touch on now is um, assessing post-emergent herbicide efficacy. It's important to assess paddocks for weed escapes so that management strategies can be put in place to minimise weed seed set. The other issue is also to uh, pick out those paddocks for, uh, for halves in terms of clean seed. Um, that's all for this week. Until next time, see you in the paddock.